Hello everyone, hope you guys are having an amazing day. XRP is around 52 53 cents here, just floating around, guys. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about our special favorite year, the year 2025, that we just got confirmed by Ripple themselves, guys. Let us see, let us talk about it. But before we do, we see here from Benjamin Cohen, you guys remember the last time there was a court case news with the SEC, right? And he's talking about the Ripple versus SEC case, guys. The outcome of it, XRP had a blast off moment, but then guess what happened, right? So, so happy XRP is finally relisted. Now I can finally sell my bag, right? And it crashed all the way back down. Right. So I'm guessing a lot of people were selling up here, guys, that people were holding beforehand and couldn't sell. So they chose to sell back there, right? Now, basically, he's now suggesting that this may honestly occur with Bitcoin's price as well, right? It had a pump moment right here, went to twenty-eight thousand dollars, and if we follow the if we if uh, Bitcoin follows XRP's path, what's that going to be? It's going to go below twenty-six k, right? In roughly a month from now. So let's just wait and see, guys, because things are awfully interesting uh, these days, aren't they? Now, it gets it gets it's it gets it gets quite strange because. It's only Tuesday and Grayskull won its lawsuit against the SEC, right? How Grayskull won, wins lawsuit against the SEC, but from Brad Garlinghouse back on March 7th, 2023. It's only Tuesday, but shaping up to be a not so great week for the SEC. This ruling, Voyager, Grayskill. Weird, isn't it? It's only a Tuesday, and guess what happened with the uh, Grayskull versus SEC case? They won on a Tuesday. Hmm. Odd, if you ask me, from Mr. Blockhead, Super Blue Moon won't occur again for about 14 years, guys. Wait, is this a reality, right? If this is the case, guys, that's ridiculous, right? So you may want to pay attention to this. 8.31st, 8.30th, I think today or tomorrow. So let's watch out. So if we check this out, guys, look at this. Super Blue Moon 2023, right? How to watch tonight's Super Blue Moon. Wow, isn't that interesting? The next one supposedly takes place... One, look at that, January and March of 2037, wow. So I don't know guys, maybe watch out for tonight, right? Not talking about extra piece price action, but I'm just talking about, because usually, look, look, look that, uh, that's so funny guys. Grayscale wins right before this occurs. We told you guys, it's always pivot points, right? These moon phases or what, and whatnot. Now, let us trans uh, transition into the game plan for blockchain technology because ripple proceeds to partner with mastercard mastercard ceo states what in a cbdc panel by the way right quote swift may not exist in five years end quote wow from the ceo of mastercard guys right so when was this, this is the real question right when did he say this which year was it guys oh wow check this out guys iso 2022 this person right here, Team XRP, was one of the developers at the bank working on the 2025 Swift to ISO 2022. Swift will be gone by 2025, so perish because of what though? His opinion is, it's the shift to cryptocurrencies. Hmm. Interesting, right? So all these people are now talking about Swift will disappear, right? Which means change will occur, guys. I don't, I don't think Swift will disappear, but change will occur basically in five years. I don't know when he stated this, but it gets even more weird because from Emmy at Ripple, uh, the VP of Corporate Strategy at Ripple at Consensus a few days ago, blockchain crypto payments, quote, two to three years is going to be a tipping point for mass adoption, end quote. Isn't that strange? Two to three years from now is what? 2025 to 2026. Hmm check this out. Well, I joined Ripple in 2016, so it's been almost seven years. Not as quite long as uh, Eric, but uh, it's me. I agree, totally agree. It's uh, quite a journey uh, to date. Uh, so Ripple is a leading provider of enterprise blockchain software uh, and solutions, uh, including cross-border payments and crypto liquidity and CBDCs. Well, I want to answer the question by sharing some key insights and the data points from the blockchain payments report we just co-published with U.S. Pastor Payments Council just last month. Uh, it's available on Ripple's website, so please check it out. But for that report, we surveyed about 300 payment professionals across 45 uh, different countries and to really understand the current adoption of blockchain payments and also the benefits and the challenges as well. And what's really encouraging is 
100% of the respondents agree that there are definitely benefits of using blockchain and crypto in payments. And 97% of respondents said they believe that blockchain and crypto will play a significant role in transforming payments in the next three years. So clearly, it is no longer a question of if, right? It's a more of a question of when and how. You know, when I started working at Ripple seven years ago, you know, there was still a lot of uh, like a skepticism and question of does the payments industry really need blockchain or crypto? But we no longer hear that question. It's really more about like when and how. And in fact, a lot of the people here in this industry believe that next two or three years is going to be a tipping point for mass adoption. It's so easy, guys. The game plan is quite clear. I don't know how people aren't uh, aren't seeing that. No, nope. a lot of people down in the com uh, comments are saying that. I've been hearing that for about five years, right? To, to the next two to three, um, the next two to three years, it will be mass adoption. So a lot of people have been hearing this, right? And then two to three years, it will be another two to three years, right? Um, people have been waiting for a long time here, right? A lot of uh, people are saying they lost all hope as well, guys. No, this is a good thing, guys, right? When people are saying it's always two to three years away, or or they have lost all hope because once when the majority expects something it never happens so if people never expects in the next two to three years it's probably going to happen guys now this 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 fits um in our timeline of what the collapse doesn't it right which is strange if you ask me because when the collapse has happened in my humble opinion in the um in the year 2025 guys a lot of people will say internet may be just a passing fa fad as millions give up on its right. Replace internet with the word cryptocurrencies or crypto or digital assets, right? When the collapse takes place, we're going to we're going to be seeing articles like this, guys. When we see this, this will be when the quote unquote flip uh the the flip will switch, right? Or the switch will be flipped because we need everyone to lose hope. Literally, we need 99% of the majority to lose all hope on the cryptocurrencies, which people are very bullish on, right? So when we when we start to see these types, of, I'm, I'm pretty sure when there was this. Oh, there you guys go. Look at that, December 5th, 2000, right? Right around the dot com bubble, exactly. So when we see the collapse, guys, by 2025, the proof is in the damn pudding, right? This this shift will occur, but I don't know if the flip of the switch will occur. XRP's price may go gradually up from there because cryptocurrencies will be implemented, guys. Right? Digital assets. Look at this. Bitcoin could hit two could hit two hundred thousand dollars plus by twenty twenty five, especially if BlackRock's Bitcoin spot ETF is approved. I don't know about that price, guys. Right? I'm thinking ninety thousand is going to be the top of Bitcoin, but if they want to lure this 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 is the only thing I have here. If they want to lure their retail we the people in, so they can make us go broke, they will make uh, these crypto prices hit higher 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 levels such as 200k or 150k Bitcoin or whatnot, right? Those crazy levels. If they want to make everyone go broke, the re the retail people because they're going to be cashing out by then, guys, right? While everyone will be staying in. So my strategy is quite clear. I'm going to be taking all my ass. I'm going to be literally selling every asset I own, guys, right? Because I own multiple different cryptocurrencies. I'm going to be selling everything except maybe XRP. I'm going to be holding a bag of it. I don't know the exact percentage, but I'm going to be holding a small bag or a bag of XRP. The rest will be sold into Nase Dollars, um, Nase Dollar, and gold, silver, right? And uh, 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 um, some XRP as well. That's just my opinion, guys. That's just my strategy I have in place. Always have your, and make up your own strategy, right? So, again, what are your thoughts about this, right? Is this the game plan? Because all sides keep pointing for use cases to take off in 2025 and beyond. Global standards implementation in November 2023 and, re and revaluation in 2025, right? Swift code dependence ends in 2025. Um, wow, this is an absolutely crazy video, guys. I just watched it, but actually, you know what? We're going to watch it from the beginning because he literally does state 2025 in this video. Not to mention how the 2020 thing accelerated this type of technology, right? This actually, this is, uh, I don't know, guys, but could this just be all a coincidence that even Ripple themselves, right? An employee at Ripple that works for Ripple states 
two to three years. A tipping point for mass adoption. Actually, it isn't from her words. It's the other people, right? All these other people believe that who works for certain companies and institutions. But you have to check this video out, guys. If you guys like today's video, I really appreciate it as well. Thank you. Um, and they had biometric ATMs in the 1990s huh. in test usage in branches of banks. Okay. And it didn't take off. Partly, partly because the technology was not ready for main market usage mm. and partly because customers didn't like to have to spit their eyeball into the ATM. <laughs> <laughs> it was using iris recognition technology. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And yet now, you know, all of us are very happy using Face ID for payments on you know, our wallets on right. our mobile phones mm -hmm. because the technology has moved to the level now where it makes sense. And, mm. and it's not the technology, it's the ease of use mm. and the convenience. Right. So during the pandemic, I moved very quickly towards using mobile wallets. I didn't mm. use them before because I didn't want to carry around cash. Right. And I was using Face ID uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's that convenience, ease of use, technology ready to be prime time that you know, is why biometrics is now accepted. Whereas even 10 years ago, it, was, it wasn't ready for mainstream. Yeah. And the same with blockchain. I said blockchain technologies will be sometime around 2025 or after. Mm -hmm. But I said that eight years ago. Because <laughs> basically I could see it's, it's not a technology. It's actually, when you look at the use cases, lots of people have to agree that that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, from different constituencies, from corporates to banks to governments to users and citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. That's what people don't understand. Everyone literally, everyone in the world has to agree to move to this new type of technology. Then we will only see mass adoption, guys. Right? So, let me l close your eyes and let me give this scenario for you to think about. Let's say the year is 2025, and we see decimation occur, destruction of of the economy, of everything. Right? Maybe even throw in what Charles Schwab stated that uh, cyber attacks and and, and such events like those as well, right into the mix, just to make it even worse. We see the collapse of everything occur around that year. What's going? Well, what are what are uh, what are the companies, institutions, central banks, sirs, government say? We need something new. We need a new, a new solution, right? Now implement blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies, digital assets into the current financial system right and now it'll be a hybrid of the old to the new which means the old world collapses or collides with the new world when two worlds collide guys right there you guys go that's when change will occur not financial advice i believe cryptocurrencies will pump till then and then we see the demise of everything occur but if it's not 2025 it'll be this decade 100 percent not financial advice let us see what happens but anyways, that's what we're amazing is. See ya. There we go. Wow.